Hi, in this episode of Outbreak News TV, I want to take a look at four um, important infectious diseases in Thailand. Uh, the country of Thailand, of course, experiences a lot of different infectious diseases, like uh, many countries do. But these four, I just wanted to point out because they are, uh, some of them are very unique to Thailand and Southeast Asia and others. We've just seen some significant increases um, as compared to last year. So th that's my plan in this video is just take a look at four uh, infectious diseases. And the one I want to start out with is Streptococcus suis. And if you're not familiar with it, this is a bacterial infection. And it's usually associated with pigs or pig meat or pig blood. So a lot of times people get infected uh, via the ingestion of, uh, of pig pork products or um, different uh, pig and pork meals. And it's a very serious infection. Um, some of the symptoms you may uh, see demonstrated include meningitis and sepsis. Uh, other complications could be hearing loss. And there are fatalities that go along with this uh, every year. So taking a look at this information from the Bureau of Epidemiology with the Ministry of Health in Thailand, we see so far through late October in Thailand, there's been 337 Streptococcus suis infections, including 28 fatalities. And as you can see on the map here that the bulk of the infections occur in um, central and northern Thailand. And there's very little happening in southern Thailand. And if we compare this to last year, and this is for the whole year, all of 2018, there was only 317 cases and 29, 29 fatalities. And again, basically the same geography, right? But there are, you know, we've been through 10 months so far and there's uh, more cases in 2019 already as compared to last year. Um, the fatality rate is pretty close, uh, 28 versus 29. So yeah, that's one infection, um, one infectious disease that uh, Thailand and other countries in Asia experience. And I just wanted to share that one with you. Uh, another one that's really kind of unique to Southeast Asia and Northern Australia is melioidosis. I don't know if I say that. I always have a hard time saying that. Melioidosis. And um, this is a disease caused by another bacterium. It's called Burkholderia pseudomalae. And... Uh, people typically contract it via contaminated water, contaminated soil. And that's what you see, direct exposure to this contaminated water, uh, contaminated soil. So in Thailand and in, in Northern Australia, uh, uh, provinces of Northern Australia, what you see is uh, a lot of times this is occupational with farmers and the like. And that's true in Thailand and uh, other countries. So... What we see through the first 10 or so months in Thailand is 2,249 cases and 14 fatalities. And here you can see that it's pretty much uh, reported throughout the country, according to this map. Now, we, if we compare it to last year, there were uh, quite a few more cases. Throughout, this is throughout the whole year, of course. And there was over 2,700 cases and 81 deaths. So, and we saw this um, in the far eastern parts of Thailand. That's where a, a lot of cases were reported, and we, where you see all that red right there. So, in, very serious disease and uh, very important disease, and and we're monitoring that um, on the website outbreaknewstoday.com. Now for a couple diseases you may be more familiar with. If you follow this uh, YouTube page, if you follow OutbreakNewsToday.com, the website, because we cover this stuff all the time, and that's dengue fever. And uh, all of Southeast Asia, in fact, basically all around the world, we're seeing significant increases in dengue fever in 2019. Thailand is not any different. Um, so, so far through the end of October, we've seen 108,000 cases, including 116 fatalities. And again, that's from all 77 provinces. No province 
has not reported any. It's happened in every single province. Um, but if you compare that to last year, and this is for the the whole of 2018, they only saw 88,000 cases and 115 deaths. Again, in every single province, but the numbers were significantly significantly lower. And we're expecting the numbers uh, for 2019 to continue to rise um, somewhat. And the last one is another mosquito-borne virus. Um, the 80s mosquito transmits dengue fever. It also transmits chikungunya virus. And uh, Thailand has really seen... Uh, dramatic increase in chikungunya this year and uh, when we look at this um, map I want to I want you to keep an eye on that but so far this year the first 10 months or so there's been over almost 8800 chikungunya cases in Thailand a significantly high number for that country and chikungunya is not typically fatal and it, that shows here there are zero fatalities this year but if you take a look at the map it's really being seen essentially throughout the country. It's in, in about, it's in a good chunk of the provinces in Thailand. Then if we compare that to last year, uh, there was, for the whole year, there was only about 3,600 cases of chikungunya for the, all 12 months. And again, no fatalities, but you can tell the difference with the map. It was primarily in Western Thailand. And of course the bulk of it came out of Southern Thailand. And chikungunya, again, not typically fatal, but it can cause some debilitating disease uh, concerning the joints and, and like, like that. So um, it's an important disease um, and we monitor it very closely at the website. Anyway, so four diseases we, we looked at in Thailand this year, um, melioidosis, uh, streptococcus suis, dengue fever, and chikungunya. So I hope you enjoy this, uh, got a little, little bit out of it, and um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.